And in today's video, I'm going to share the top five core things that you need in order to scale past seven figures as a recruitment entrepreneur. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, James Blackwell here. So when I've studied over almost 300 recruitment business owners uh, that I've helped scale successfully to six and seven figures, I've really broken it down into the, far, like the top five uh, core fundamentals that you need in order to get there. The first thing is having the right information. So there's a lot of information out there, the likes of YouTube, books, uh, podcasts. Problem is you need the right information, first of all. So you need to make sure that when you're getting the right information in order to grow or scale or start up your business, you need to make sure where is the source of this information and does it ring true to you? Because then you could end up building a business that you pretty much hate and you don't like which is the number one thing. And then you build a business that doesn't really uh, gain the traction because the second thing is having the right coaching and mentorship. So that doesn't need to be from me, but it needs to be from someone that uh, you're aligned to. And I, if I was to start all over again, the number one thing I would say to anyone starting up would be having a mentor. And if you're watching this and you've already had uh, your business for the last five or 10 years in recruitment, and you're still doing it, doing it, doing it, and you're still grinding, that's because you haven't got the right coach or mentorship. Now, you can be 50, 60, 70 years old uh, and still have mentors. I, I for sure still will have a mentor when I'm 50 years old, because as we grow, we always want to keep upgrading ourselves and keep improving. So the second thing is having the right coaching and mentorship. The third is strategy and frameworks. So in order to have the right mentor, you also need the right strategy. Because if you don't have the right plan and strategy in place, again, you could end up having a business that could burn you out. Um, you could have a business model that isn't scalable in the right way, i.e. a self-managing agency as opposed to um, a really hands-on management sales environment. And the right frameworks in order to generate candidates, clients, systemize your business, the right way to outreach, the right way to nurture, all of these require the correct frameworks. And the fifth is mindset and personal development. So you've probably seen me go on and on about this for a long time in terms of mindset and personal development. I mean, I myself have grown phenomenally over the last six, seven years just because I have invested uh, in personal development every single day. So I'm still learning consistently, daily, even though um, I've scaled my business past the seven figures and it's created a, a nice lifestyle. As you can see, I'm out here in my uh, apartment in Dubai. I mean, I'm fortunate to have such views like this uh, every day to work. So what I've realized from that is having the right environment, uh, I actually make more money and more successful and um, I'm certainly happier being in the right environment and having the sun every day. But yeah, so having, having the right type of mentorship is important as well. And then just really like when you're defining those five core things, you want to reverse engineer where you want to get to. So what it, what is it you want from this business? Because is it a case of like you want to sell a business one day? Because a lot of business owners have the dream of in five years, okay, I'm, I'm going to sell a business for 10 million. Is that even achievable? Because as we know, 99% of businesses don't sell. Or could you have a self-sufficient agency that is giving you um, multiple six or sometimes seven figures profits every year and without too much of your input? And I would like to know in the comments below like where you're at at the moment in terms of that. Um, do you have the right information? Like, Have you already got it? Have you invested in coaching and mentorship before? And what type of strategy and frameworks are you using? And if you're stuck on a certain area, let me know in the comments below because I'm gonna be recording plenty more YouTube videos to try and give you as much value as possible. Yeah, like those five areas I would say are the, the most present for, that I've spotted within my community for massive growth. And most entrepreneurs get this by like trial and error, but it like takes a long time to happen. So the main thing is, um, Having someone that can help solve that, give you the right strategy, give you the right tools, the frameworks, the right guidance to get there quicker. Because we only get one life. As we know, some of you, like when I'm recording this, what's going on in the world right now, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of panic, uh, a lot of bad things that are going on. Like, you need money. You need money to give you situations for you and your family to be able to travel a different part of the world to try and uh, keep that life going in terms of your lifestyle and and what it is that you want. So you need to make sure that you're investing in yourself 
with the with the right type of mentors, the right frameworks, and are you building the business that you want to end up with? Is is the number one thing? Because a lot of people build successful businesses or what they deem as success, which is big headcount and revenue. But are they making profit and are they happy every day? And do they have to turn up to work and work ten hours a day? So if you enjoyed the video, please like, uh, subscribe, and I'll catch.